Being new to Atlanta, you can become confused about where all the good food is. You would think that being that Atlanta is in the South, that soul food would be everywhere. But as I said in previous videos about Atlanta, which you can find here, we are a city of transplants. Besides, soul food is great, but it's not something that you want every day. Today on Passport Kings, I've compiled a list of my favorite places to eat and bring clients to in Atlanta. Use it, and your taste buds in Atlanta will never be the same. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. I make Passport Kings travel videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations and other travel-related information. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the notification bell so you can be the first in the know when I upload new content. Number 10 is This Is It. I'm not the biggest fan of the recipes and choices in this restaurant. But when you get a taste for soul food, the selection offered at This Is It is vast and most times cooked with pride. This Is It is a black owned restaurant with at least three locations that I know about. The most popular one is by the airport in East Point and it stays busy. The other two locations I know of is in Riverdale and one closest to me in Marietta. But I'm sure there are more. For collard greens, smothered poultry, and its acclaimed rib tips, this restaurant chain is definitely one to try out. It's like having a fast food slash soul food experience. Number nine is King Caribbean Takeout. I guess I'm more familiar with restaurants around my way in the Smyrna Marietta area. So a lot of my suggestions will be from up here. King Caribbean Takeout is a Nigerian restaurant that turns into an African nightclub after hours. King Caribbean is special because of Suya. Suya is a steak that's cooked according to an old African recipe. Once you've tried it from them, you'll have a completely different perspective on steak. They have a full menu of other African dishes, but you will most likely frequent this place for the Suya. The only problem I've had with them sometimes is you can tell that they didn't give you the prime piece of steak. It can ruin the experience. But when everything is right, there's nothing like Suya from King Caribbean Takeout. Number nine is Old Lady Gang. This soul food restaurant was created by the Real Housewife of Atlanta and escape member Candy Burris. They make old fashioned Southern cuisine and say that it's made with love. This is gonna be some of the best soul food that you can currently find in Atlanta. It's located in one of the city's historic and art districts, Castleberry Hill. The prices are reasonable for a dinner prepared by people who put love into their dishes. If you're just coming to Atlanta to visit for a few days, click the link above so you can find the cheapest tickets on the internet. Then tell your host to swing you by Old Lady Gang for traditional Southern cooking. Number seven is Publix. Well, really the Publix sandwiches. This may come as a surprise, but every once in a while, all you want is a good cold cut sandwich. Publix Supermarket is my favorite place to get sliced meat sandwiches. The soft bread is made fresh every day. The veggies used for toppings are straight out of their produce department. They can use Publix brand meat if you choose, but the sandwiches are taken to another level when you pick boar's head meats and cheeses. I've been to plenty of other famous sandwich spots in the city. Hands down, Publix sandwiches taste the best. Whenever you are either in a rush or don't feel like a hot dinner, you will be satisfied. You can also ask them to heat any sandwich up. Number six is Syracuse Pizza. As you probably know, I'm from New York. Up top, the Italians in New York have, to me, perfected the pizza recipe. Syracuse has brought that recipe down to Atlanta untouched. I've purchased plenty of pizza in my 15 plus years living here. The chain pizza stores like Pizza Hut and Domino's can be okay, and when it comes to Papa John's, it can be downright disgusting. I've also been happy to support Little Caesars after I read that the owner of the franchise, Mike Litch, paid Rosa Parks rent for decades until her death. But when I want to be selfish, non-woke, and just get the best tasting pizza possible, Syracuse definitely takes the cake. This store is small and the other patrons are not that welcoming. But fuck them, just order your pizza to go, then go pick it up and then bounce. Or you can use DoorDash to get it. Make sure you use my first time user code on DoorDash so you can save a couple of bucks on your first order. And also make sure you watch the end of this video so you can download my free ebook about how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and press the notification bell. Number five is Slutty Vegan. This restaurant is all the rave and sensation in Atlanta right now. You can expect lines for blocks if you get here at peak times of the day. Like the name of the place itself, the food choices all have provocative names. 
One Night Stand, Menage a and Hollywood Hooker are some of the names of the burgers that they have. But the two real draws to this restaurant is the fact that all the burgers and ingredients are plant-based. A black vegan woman named Pinky Cole came up with this idea. I guess she was trying to find something to eat that followed her diet. What she and her team created is now a landmark in Atlanta. Even if you're not vegan, you will enjoy the food and enjoy the time that you're spending at Slutty Vegan. Number four is Poppies in the airport. Another staple in New York City is Puerto Ricans and their Spanish food. I miss the potato bowls and pernil that I enjoyed eating while growing up. Walking past one of those restaurants when I was younger would make me hungry even if I just ate. They weren't the cleanest restaurants in the world, but the food on display in their windows made you overlook that. The food was made by Spanish-speaking people who were more serious about taste and technique. After years of living in Atlanta and trying different Spanish spots, Poppy's, although a Cuban-based restaurant, immediately gave me nostalgia. There's one in Hartsville Atlanta Airport and another location in Midtown Atlanta. If you want authentic Spanish food, I recommend Poppy's. Number three is Papa Do's. There are many occasions when you will want to splurge on a seafood dinner with your guests or loved ones. Papa Do's in Cobb County is a New Orleans-style seafood restaurant. It'll give you the feeling that you've traveled to a resort off the Gulf Coast. Fried seafood in this place is very good and a vast selection guarantees that you won't need to have the same thing twice. The only competition this place has for seafood selection is Rays on the River, which can be too expensive and too bougie, or Marietta Fish Market, which is too far north on the I-75, and I think they're too light on the Lowry seasoning. Those two are my honorable mentions, but I recommend Papa Do's over both. Another honorable mention I have is a Chinese restaurant located in the Vinings. It's on a train track, literally, and shaped like a train. It's called Orient Express of Vinings. They serve high-end traditional Chinese food and hibachi. It's definitely my favorite choice for Chinese food in Metro Atlanta, and it looks like they keep the place clean too. Now, number two is Fago de Chao. This is authentic Brazil cuisine at its finest, and the prices for meals will reflect that. But if you have a birthday or other special occasion coming up, there is no place I recommend more than Fago de Chao. This all-you-can-eat place is a carnivore's dream. They also have a decent salad bar. But the main draw is waiters coming around to you with fresh lamb, beef, and pork on spits right off the fire grill. They will slice your selection for you right off onto your plate for as long as your stomach has room. And it's good. Good is an understatement. They are the gold standard of eating out in Atlanta. Links to my free ebook called Make Money Online So You Can Travel More can be found down in the description. Or you can go to the main page on www.passportkings.com and pick it up now. But beware, I am about to update my website so things can be a little bit different by the time you see this video. All right, so now number one is Marietta Diner. How can I pick a diner as best place to eat in Atlanta? I've never been disappointed with my meal in this day. I've tried everything on their menu. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner at Marietta Diner always satisfies me. If you are single or coming with a group, the staff is professional and will always treat you like family. They give you spinach pies along with your bread before you even order anything. The cakes for dessert look and taste like a top million dollar chef baked them. I'm always trying new places to eat and one day my list may change. But as of now, this Greek-inspired diner that serves everything else has been my favorite place to eat for the entire time that I've been in Metro Atlanta area. So what restaurants and eateries would you have added to this list? Give me your recommendations down in the comments and tell me about them. I love reading and responding to you. Then check out all my videos about moving to Atlanta that I'm attaching to the playlist on the end credits. And if you're thinking about moving to Atlanta, these videos will give you a lot of knowledge on the subject. But now when you do set up shop in Atlanta, you will always know where to eat like a king of passport king. Peace.